Hello, this is Joe and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering the four essential things that you need to be an astrophotographer. So everyone knows that you need a telescope and a camera and a really nice mount to take good images. But what you don't know, the secrets that the other astrophotographers aren't telling you. In order to get prints like the ones that you see behind me here, you need four essential things. The very first essential thing that you absolutely need to be a good astrophotographer are pets. Yep, that's right, pets. I know it sounds strange, but every astrophotographer that I know, or that is famous, or that has really great images or YouTube channels, usually have dogs. There are a couple of exceptions to this. I know a few people with cats. That's okay. Cats are all right. There's an exception to the cat rule as well. I've seen people with scorpions. Uh, Jason, Isaac, looking at you guys. Um, I've also seen uh, people with special cats, like Logan. Logan's cat's special because he could actually process the image. So, you know, I'm sure the cat really helps in that situation. Uh, he probably does a better job than Logan. He just brings Logan over the images and says, here you go, now you can put these up on YouTube after he's done processing them. That, that's what I honestly think, but, but we're gonna give Logan the benefit of the doubt. And if you really want to take good images, you need to get two dogs. <laughs> the second essential absolute needed thing to be a good astrophotographer is to stay out all night with your scope. Yeah, it doesn't mean get in the car and go to sleep if you're on a remote location. It doesn't mean, um, you know, being in the house, coming in to go to the bathroom. No, no, no. You have to stay outside the whole night, uh, minus 15, 20 degrees, doesn't matter. You gotta stay out all night with your scope in order to get the absolute best astrophotography images. Don't listen to people when they say that they can get a good image while they're sitting on their sofa with their legs up, sitting next to the fire with their computer in their lap. It doesn't work. Oh wow, look at that guiding. Oh man, this is the best guiding I've done in a long time. Oh, hey, Glenn. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Oh man, I'm I'm freezing my butt off. I'm outside. I'm imaging right now. Oh yeah, yeah. The sky looks beautiful. It's gorgeous out. Mm-hmm. Oh, you should see the subs I'm getting. They're amazing, and my guiding has just never been better. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful, but I am really cold. It's freezing out there. Yeah, I got a fire going on in, inside the house, but I'm out here freezing my butt off. I'm not going to leave my telescope all night. All right, I'll talk to you later, man. See ya. The third essential thing that you absolutely need to be an astrophotographer is a good headlamp. I can't stress this enough. Without a good headlamp, you will be lost. Literally lost. You won't be able to see what you're doing. And you also won't have a chance to blind others that you're talking to, in person and on camera. So you'll always want to buy as many as you can, and you're always looking for new and improved ones as well. I buy mine in packs of three, and sometimes I even wear two at a time. One in the front so I can see where I'm going, and one in the back so I can see where I've been. The fourth and final essential thing that you absolutely need to be an astrophotographer is NASA stuff. You need lots and lots of NASA stuff. See, I got the NASA banner back here. I'm wearing a NASA hat. I got a NASA shirt. The more NASA stuff you have, the better your images will be. I've even got NASA underwear. 